Om Shanti. In this video we are going to discuss about the relationship between sex and peace. I know just the word, the mention of the words sex and peace together itself looks totally contradicting, right? Uh, the main reason is you can uh, according to Brahma Kumaris um, teaching of God Shiva he says that you can attain true peace and true bliss and happiness only through being pure by pure he means being chaste um, so abstaining from sexual thoughts or sexual acts will give one true peace and true happiness um, this may not sound quite familiar in the beginning but if uh, if you have some uh, insight into how your mind is being altered when it is consumed with lustful thoughts and feelings uh, no man or women uh, has the habit of um, seeing someone lustfully all of a sudden because it takes time it is through uh, the media and through uh, our friends that we start slowly developing uh, lustful thoughts even after that it takes time for one to uh, start seeing with lustful vision it takes time but still um, if you go back to your childhood and uh, when you were really pure I mean when you had uh, when you were not at all disturbed by lustful thoughts those were the times when you experienced real happiness and real bliss but um, after being consumed with these lustful thoughts gradually you will realize that you are actually going out of peace and happiness you couldn't experience true peace um, once you find yourself in the middle of lustful thought and relationships the main reason is uh, this Satan or Maya uh, which is composed of these five evils lust, anger, attachment, greed and ego um, this can have total power over your soul when you are in the middle of lustful thoughts so it means you cannot think on your own your uh, body consciousness has full control over your soul so that is why people in relationships always experience anger um, and grief uh, and the power of Maya or Saturn can be experienced uh, during our journeys in buses the moment you happen to have the op opposite sex look at you in that very moment your mind gets changed all of a sudden you have the feeling that she or he is seeing you for the first time uh, I mean uh, you are the first guy or girl that the opposite person is actually seeing in his or her life so that's the kind of um, illusion Maya creates in you once this relationship progresses into some 
meaningful relationship like love or marriage um, then your mind start working that he or she is actually seeing everybody just the way he or she saw you when you first meet meet him or her so that's when this doubtful mentality start disturbing you actually this has been the truth always but still it is only after you get into the relationship this knowledge arises and takes the form of doubt and this doubt always kills you second by second uh, in the beginning of any relationship you will have uh, couples fighting over each other uh, due to this doubtful attitude but gradually after having uh, several quarrels they they just feel frustrated and they feel ashamed of their doubtful behavior it doesn't mean they they get rid of their doubtful behavior it will be there but they just learn to hide it within them so anyway it's going to kill them every second when this thought arises in them and this is how lustful thoughts takes your peace and happiness totally out of you and that is the main reason god through brahma kumaris is asking you to become pure that is to be chaste both in mind and body it is through being pure that you develop the you experience true peace and happiness and when you experience true peace and happiness you start spreading that vibration into the atmosphere and those who come into that atmosphere will also experience true peace and happiness and this is how god creates heaven from hell but here in hell uh, we actually uh, i should have mentioned in the beginning that this world has a uh, an indefinite time cycle of 5000 years called one kalpa and in that one kalpa the first 2500 years is heaven that is when you were living as a deity uh, and you would be in full soul consciousness and when you become body consciousness in the next 2500 years the same heaven that is the same earth is being converted to hell and we are in hell and that is why we experience peacelessness always and the main reason is the body consciousness god teaches you to get rid of body consciousness and to regain soul consciousness which is essential to become a deity uh, moreover if you are in a lustful relationship and you are so uh, overpowered by lustful thoughts these lustful thoughts which is the highest form of expression of body consciousness this takes full charge of your soul so it enslaves soul uh, then uh, when the soul gets enslaved by this body consciousness main mainly these lustful thoughts this soul can also be controlled by all other physical components uh, that is present in the atmosphere so it creates the disturbing vibrations so those who come into contact with that disturbing vibration also gets disturbed and they also tend to get angry at you uh, even at the slightest um, impulse so that is why that is the actual relationship between being pure and uh, peace and true bliss so that is why god ask you to become pure if you really want to experience true happiness it is by becoming pure in this last birth you become 
totally pure for their next 21 birth that's going to last for another 2500 years where you'll be enjoying in heaven Om Shanti